it's a new day and i cannot wait to see the new update of dc rob on youtube his channel is so amazing and fun to watch gives information about the country and you always stay updated i can't wait to go watch his channel controversy over signs against foreign tourists on post in el poblado it ain't good let's jump into it follow along you're watching DC Born Rob, Racing Borders. And now, the news. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. You're watching DC Born Rob, Racing Borders. I'm DC Rob. Uh, I ran across this story uh, yesterday or day before, and I knew I had to uh, advise you of it for those who are not aware of the movement, so to speak, uh, against foreign tourists. And well, you know the narrative that's been set by the mayor. It's unfortunate, but it, you know, as far as I'm concerned, he's the one that's created this and has uh, expanded on it anyway. Let's put it that way. Now, this story it will be sanitized. Okay. It will be sanitized. There's certain words you're just going to have to figure out. Hopefully, the more I do the same word over and over again, you kind of figure it out. But there's a few new ones that are added in this story that I've had to adjust. So, just beware but this video is just going to be on this story because it's uh it's a slightly long one well not long one but it's one story so it may be five to seven minutes let's jump into it posters graffiti and stickers on public furniture have caused controversy some are messages against facts such as s exploitation but some believe that others border on xenophobia the post on public furniture of Medellin have traditionally been used as an advertising showcase where you can see offers that include affiliations to EPS, jobs in renowned companies, and of course, the respective fortune teller that promises to bind and prostrate his feet to the loved one. However, recently on posts, benches, garbage cans, and El Poblado, some protest notices have been seen, silent but aggressive, with which some inhabitants of the city say they expressed their indignation at events such as the scandals of S exploitation of young ones, girls, and adolescents in which foreigners have been involved. But there are other messages that are kind of complaint from city residences because they consider that the proliferation of foreigners has increased the cost of living in food, commerce, and rent. Regarding the controversial posters, since the morning on 10th Street and Parque Yeres, you begin to see the supply and demand of S services and on the sidewalks, despite the hour. They are already indigenous families asking for a coin or selling their colorful necklaces. The rumba offer has given way to the breakfast prepared in establishments, where also from such early hours, the strident music comes out that deafens the sector and the street vendors. Suddenly, a sticker is placed on a traffic light diagonal to El Poblado Park, sends a short but forceful messages, no gringos, prevent the colonizers from inflating prices. Higher up on 10th Street, another sign appears in English and in Spanish that stuck on a post tells tourists, touching young ones makes you a RPST. Further on at the access in the uncontrolled Yaris area, there is another one in English, more forceful, which translates, don't call your PDF filing tourism. Inside the rumba area, another sticker appears that using the colors of the American flag and paraphrasing Donald Trump's campaign slogan says in English, make Medellin great again. Despite the strong messages, the foreign tourists, almost all of them dressed in flip flops and sunglasses on a cloudy day, give the appearance that they do not read the messages alluding to them or act as if the matter were unrelated to them. This newspaper tried to talk to a group of them about it but they did not want to answer any questions. The truth is that there are even clashes between cartels. Below one says, quote, Medellin, the city of the eternal cover, unquote. In reference to the fact that the identity of tourists involved in cases of young ones, S abuse is rarely known immediately. A notice appeared from an American named Trevor, who through the poster is looking for a woman for a love date. As El Colombiano learned, although the stickiness of posters dates back to the times of the scandal involving the infamous American tourist Timothy Livingston, who is still a fugitive from the Colombian authorities until now, 
The most recent occurred this week. Last Tuesday, a group of three people, two men and a woman, attacked the posters in the area. The particular thing about the matter is that Despite the fact that they are advertising of all kinds on the poles and signage, including massage parlors and even S services, the presence of the posters against tourists would have resulted in corporations, Barrio Provenza, and will remove them to supposedly avoid problems that cause damage to businesses in the area. When consulted by this means, the spokesperson for Barrio Provenza, Juan Oyo, said that the posters had not been posted there. And although she indicated that some stickers and posters had been removed from the post and signage in the area, she clarified that these were removed by decoration personnel and that there were some messages that offered S services even by QR code. Quote, these signs are not good at all. Foreigners come and create jobs. I don't see it as cool that this is happening, she said, unquote. Regarding this issue, the Secretary of Security and Medellin, Manuel Villa, pointed out that this type of expression of protest has been seen all over in communas where it has been arrest of foreign tourists immersed in cases of young one S exploitation, such as El Poblado or Aranjuez. Of course, Villa urged the community not to reach the roads, in fact, to avoid affecting the good tourists who, according to him, are the vast majority and in turn not affect this important economic line. Quote, it's OK to ask that tourists respect the rules and the residents of the city, but we do not want tourism to be scared away or investment in this area to decrease. We want to do things the right way and according to the norm, because whoever does the wrong thing, whoever resorts to criminal practices or practices that are contrary to the coexistence of residents must bear the weight of the law and be expelled, unquote, via noted. Regarding the issue of the removal of the controversial posters, Via pointed out that these and other advertising elements in public spaces must be removed. This is what the law dictates. The matter is already escalating. For anthropologist Gregorio Hernandez, despite the fact that the majority of tourists come and enjoy the offerings that Medellin has and not to get involved in illegal activities, Today, there is a stigma against foreign citizens due to what has happened to some of them. I believe that in this generation, there is already responsibility of the media and how they have channeled information on these issues, because as a result of the coverage of these events, the concept of a monster has been created, explained the academic. For Enriquez, the posters are the materialization of xenophobia that can lead to a break on tourism from which an important part of the city population lives today. Regarding whether these situations could lead to physical attacks on tourists, Enriquez points out that it's already happening, which is why he urged the authorities to teach that although these cases are talked about, the statistics of foreigners involved in them is too short. He also tells people that instead of insulting these people, the best thing they can do is to report when they see illegal behavior involving tourists. We also owe ourselves as a society a debate about double standards. We have to see to what extent these situations have been allowed to occur, because without supply, there is no demand. And it is known that in Medellin, there are people and families who encourage these types of situations, unquote, concluded the anthropologist. A local merchant joined in with what Enrique said and asked a question. Where are the parents of those girls that you see around here doing those things, unquote. While the discussion is taking place, the posters continue to slowly populate the area and some have even been seen in Envigado. Now graffiti can be seen in some of the public furniture. One of them located under the image of the Virgin of Lourdes that is in Lieres Park has a strong message that says, quote, if you are looking for underage young ones, we are watching you, unquote. So there you go. Um, it, it was difficult to get through the story. I, I made quite a few mistakes. This, the, the verbiage is this one. They didn't, the, the translation did not come off good, which gets me stuttering. Anyway, um, this is something that you need to be aware about, though. You need to know that this is how you are perceived even before you land. And as soon as you land, I mean, I don't know why he started this. I mean, and, and again, I've gone over the uh, statistics. We're talking probably 0.01% of this crime is, is conducted by foreigners. It's mostly by people who live there. I read the stories every day, so I'm aware. 
And if you don't watch the news like I do there, you may think, I mean, you with the stories that I'm reading, you may even think that it's, oh, man, it's all Americans. It's all of Europeans, it's all the foreigners. But it's not. It's straight up not. It's, they're doing a disservice to tourism and it's going to cut tourism back. Some of you guys that are watching this and hearing this right now are going to say, well, I don't want to be perceived as that. I don't want to go. I mean, it's not encouraging for me to go back. I mean, I don't want to be, be perceived as that. I will walk around Yetis Park for a night or two, just shake some hands and say hey to people, but grab something to eat. But I mean, now I got to be concerned that I'm looked at that way. But anyway, uh, you needed to hear the story. You needed to know. Well, I believe you need to know uh, how you're perceived in any country that you're going to go to. You need to do due diligence. And that's why this channel is here. This is the news. And you are now up to date with the latest news out of Medellin, Colombia. And Columbia as a whole, I'm getting ready to go to the gym, drink my uh, vitamin energy, and it's on. So remember to travel, but travel safe. On behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant day. Okay, hold, hold, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Right quick. If you need to have things shipped to Columbia, shipped to someone else, or shipped to yourself to Columbia from the United States, make sure you reach out to CaribbeanShipper.com. CaribbeanShipper.com. The contact information is coming next. Join me on social media. I am DC Born Rob Official on Instagram. I am DC Born Rob Official One on TikTok. I am DC Born Rob O on Twitter. Don't be like this guy right here. You're you're just so stupid. I, I had to send you a video to let you know you're so stupid. That's right. Don't be like this guy right here. Join me on social media. Headed to Medellin, Colombia? See my guy Andres with Nomad Travel for safe airport pickups and drop-offs and tours. Contact information in the description below. If you're in Medellin and you need dental work done, from a basic cleaning to major reconstructive surgery, come see my guy, Dr. Carlos Mori. Contact information in the description below. Thanks for hitting like. You did the right thing by hitting like. Thanks for hitting like. Thanks for hitting like. DC born Rob.